Let us now take up the subject of limiting reagents. Typically, there are several types of questions that will be asked with respect to limiting reagents. They would include which reagent is limiting? Is A limiting or B limiting? The second type of question might be which reagent is an excess? The third type of question is often given certain amounts of two or more reagents how much product is produced. And the fourth type, and probably the most difficult, is identify the reagent is in excess and then report how much of that material is left over once the reaction is run. So let's take up the last question with a specific example starting with five grams of manganese dioxide and seven grams of H2SO4. One, how much material is produced. Two, which material is limiting. Three, which material is in excess. And four, of the material that's in excess, how much of it is left over. Let's begin by our consideration of manganese oxide. How many grams of water do I produce from five grams of manganese dioxide? And here, just for the sake of brevity and to keep things clean, I'm going to just define this material as A, this is material B, and I'm just going to abbreviate water as W. How much water can I produce from five grams of manganese dioxide. I know from the molar mass that for every 86.94 grams of manganese dioxide, I'm going to produce or have one mole of manganese dioxide. So what I've essentially done is converted grams to moles. The next thing I need to do is convert moles of manganese dioxide to moles of water. I do that by noting that for every one mole of manganese dioxide, I will make two moles of water. And finally, for every one mole of water, I will have 18 grams of water and that multiplies out to be 2.07 grams of water. Five grams of manganese dioxide will give me 2.7 grams of water. But I need to know if that number is greater than or less than the material, the amount of water that will be produced starting with seven grams of sulfuric acid. So let us solve that problem. How many grams of water can I make from seven grams of acid? We know that 98.09 grams of acid is equivalent to one mole of acid and we know for every two moles of acid we will make two moles of water and as before, we know for every one mole of water, we will have 18 grams of water. The result being 1.28 grams of water. And here we can see that indeed sulfuric acid is going to be limiting because it produces less product than the manganese dioxide. Remember, the limiting reagent is the reagent 
that produces the least amount of product. So in this case, we have this material is limiting, and we would say that manganese dioxide then is in excess. We have now answered two of the questions. The limiting reagent is sulfuric acid. The material in excess is manganese dioxide. And the third question is, how much material is produced? That is 1.28 grams. Now for the third problem. How much of the material in excess do we have left over after this reaction? Well, the strategy here is quite simple and straightforward. If we start out with five grams of material, we just have to calculate how much we actually used, subtract how much we used to make this 1.28 grams from how much we started with, and that will give us the amount of material that was left over. Well, how can we actually calculate how many grams of manganese oxide was actually used? We do exactly what we did before, only we do it in reverse. The question then reads this. How many grams of this can we make starting with 1.28 grams of water? We'll convert grams of water to moles of water. Moles of water will convert to moles of manganese dioxide. And moles of manganese dioxide, we will determine grams of manganese oxide. So here we go. How many grams of manganese dioxide do I need to make 1.28 grams of water? And that gives us a total of 3.09 grams of manganese dioxide were actually used, leaving the amount behind as 1.91 grams. And there you have it. This one example illustrates four of the basic types of limiting reagent questions that are often asked.